some talks to get through before that, and our first talk of the second half is Dr. Tom back again with another flags talk, but it's different from the other flags talks he's given. <laughs> I think, I hope. Uh, it, is, it is, it is. So he's been telling us about flags and, and Liverpool, I think. I think I've done more talks here than Elvis had cheese loaves. Right, um, so in case you don't know, I am a massive flag nerd, and recently I joined the uh, UK's Flag Institute, so my flag, nerd, my flag nerdage has gone stratospheric. So flags are incredibly important through history and uh, in current usage. So there's a flag on the moon, there's a flag at the North Pole, there you've got the uh, US uh, SR flag being flown over the Reichstag, and there you've got some German flag, uh, fans celebrating their recent World Cup win. But what about Liverpool? Does Liverpool have a flag? Well, I guess it does. I had to write to my MP, Steve Rotherham, to find this out. He then emailed um, the mayor of Liverpool, Joe Anderson, who uh, told us both that Liverpool's flag looks like this. I'm sorry about the poor quality. But you see a flag like this, and as a vexillologist, your head just drops. <laughs> because it's so dull. All it is, is the Liverpool coat of arms on a white background. Liverpool's got a very handsome coat of arms, um, with an, uh, a merman and uh, Neptune, lighter birds, uh, shipping all over the place, Latin inscriptions, Latin for God has given us these blessings, or something like that. So what makes a good flag? Um, well, as Reni Magritte, highbrow, might say, Ceci uh, Medhart and Drapo, this is not a flag, this is a, this is a design for a flag. Uh, I'm going to show you in a minute a picture of the Union Jack slash flag. There it is, blowing in the wind. Elvis Cavaliers, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, to make a good flag, rule one and rule two is keep it simple. You think of some of the iconic flags of the world, they are three colours, sometimes just two colours. And you want flags to look like this because they are instantly recognisable, uh, they uh, stand out from a long way. And if you don't keep the flag simple, then you might end up with monstrosity like this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a city in Inglewood, and they just went completely nuts with this. You've got the play, you've got the building, you've got the writing. You want to keep flags simple because most of the time you won't see them blowing in the wind. A lot of the time they'll be small and far away. <laughs> 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 so you flag in a distance. You might see it on a little uh, uh, on a little pin, uh, as I am currently wearing. Um, also, you need to be able to identify a flag at rest. So the ones on the left, you can't see them properly, but they're obviously the flags of the USA. The ones on the right, they're a bit higgledy piggledy, not so sure. So you want to keep it simple as well because you want to make it easy to make. So for example, here's, uh, here's, here's one taken from Libya. That flag is completely homemade out of five bits of, prof, uh, out of, five bits of cloth, but it's obviously a Libyan flag. Another rule is don't use white, and this is illustrated very nicely here. Because white blends into the background, you can't see it against the skies. So Russia, um, Bahrain, Qatar, Madagascar. Someone showed Indonesia earlier, but very bad designs. And also don't add writing because no one's going to read it. Central and South American countries are notoriously bad at this, but you can cheat at flag identification games because they've all got the name of the country or at least Paraguay and um, El Salvador and Nicaragua would have. So as a, as a bunch of examples of good and bad flags, I've got a load of US state flags. Some of them are great, they're really simple. They've got Texas down at the bottom, you've got Arizona up at the top. Um, but in researching this, I also found that out that Liverpool did have a flag commission for its 800th anniversary. And it's a logo with some writing on it on a white background. <laughs> And in the same article, they show the flag. What's that? <laughs> that could be anything. That could be a corporate logo. It just looks like a white flag. I was going to make a joke about the French, but I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> so, um, I've had a go at designing a flag for Liverpool. Keeping it simple, I'm thinking live of birds, rhythm of birds, and of course the football teams. So the background of my flag is uh, blue and red. I have a blue on the left to represent where the Mersey is. Uh, I've got the liver bird, which is gold, to represent prosperity. And there it is. Ooh. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you don't put together a flag.
cloud. So compare this one to the one that is going to appear, and I will leave you with that. Thank you very much.